Hello everyone, welcome to today's Different Strokes Level 3 exercise programme. Um, focusing from last week, we're going to be working on building up everybody's strength um, in upper limb, lower limb and in core. Um, today we're going to be using mostly with the front for the whole entire session and we'll have the warm up and the cool down. And we'll be doing um, two different circuits, one that we'll be doing once and the other one that we'll be repeating twice. Um, the first one we'll be doing twice, the second one we'll be doing once, and the last one we'll be doing twice. Um, each exercise is 45 seconds long, and we'll get straight into it. So, start, start with, we're going to be doing a warm up. And I'm going to get you guys to do to begin with, but we're just going to be doing some side stepping from one side to the other. Good. We're then going to do some stepping back and forwards. Good, keep going. After that, what we're then going to do, we're then going to do a couple of stretches. So we're going to take a few steps back. We're just going to stretch out our arms like so, leaning forward and coming back. Do the same again. And once more. Just going to finish off with just some trunk twists from one side to the other. So, to start with, we're going to be coming into the chair. We're going to be doing what's known as a deadlift with resistant bands. So, using a band, make sure that you're standing on the band with your feet. If it's not quite long enough, you can put it underneath your knees. We're just going to be leaning forwards. And then pulling back, leaning back into the chair, like so. Make sure that we keep elbows at the same position, and then we're just leaning back, using our body to pull us back. Okay, so we're going to do this 45 seconds, starting in three, two, one, and go. Just coming down. Good, keep going. 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Excellent. Moving on to the next exercise. We're going to be standing for this one. We're going to be doing side steps. So for this one, we're going to have the band practice just below our knee. going to tie it or clip it together to make sure it doesn't move too much. Put together like so. And all we're going to be doing for this is we're just going to be doing some side steps on one side to the other side like so. We're just going to do that for 45 seconds. So we'll start in three, two, one, and go. Good, that's it, keep going. Fifteen seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. So next thing we're going to be doing is shoulder abduction is banded. So we're going to be coming back to the chair for this one. Holding the band nice and high, putting it down towards the chest. Okay, we'll start in three, two, one, and go. Nice and high, down towards the chest.
five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Moving on to the next one, and the last one of this circuit. What we're going to be doing for this one is a band that's going to be wrapped around the knees again. We're going to be up and standing for this one. And we're going to be doing what's known as hip flexions or high knees with the band, if that makes it easier for everybody to understand the kind of exercise we're going to be doing for this one. So all we're going to be doing is standing, holding onto the back of that chair all day. We're just going to be doing high knee marches like so with the band. Okay, I'm starting three, two, one, and go. Nice and high. Take your time, so you know, don't go too quickly for this one. That's it, keep going 30 seconds left. Good 20 seconds. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Excellent. If everybody needs a drink, you can travel quickly now. However, I'm going to be carrying on going into the next circuit. So this one we're only going to be doing once. We are going back to that circuit that we just did in a little bit, but we'll be doing this one next. So for this one, we're going to be doing banded press-ups. So for this, what you're going to do is you're going to wrap the band behind your back with the band underneath your armpits. We're going to hold on to the back of that chair with the band in, our, in between our hands. And what we're going to do for this one is we're going to attempt to do press-ups coming down and up. And the band should make it slightly more challenging to push ourselves back up from this position, okay? If it's a bit too much of a struggle, then if one side is affected, then just do normal push-ups. You don't have to use the bandage if you want to, or you can do chest presses. Um, but for anybody that can do and wants to give it a go, please feel free to just be careful that you're keeping the band nice and secure and that you're not going to injure yourself by doing it. You can also, if you've got a long enough band, wrap the band around your hands as well if that helps. We'll start in three, two, one, and go. So coming down and up. Like so, with that band wrapped around the back. Good, keep going. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Excellent. So, moving on to the next one. What we're going to be doing for this is we're going to be doing double twists. So, we're going to be coming back into the chair for this one. The legs are going to be out slightly in front of us. We're going to be sitting slightly further forward. The band's going to be wrapped around underneath our legs. And all we're going to do Keeping hands close to chest, we're going to twist one side to the other, like so. Okay, or if you want, you can have arms out, twist side to side. Okay, we're going to start this in five, four, three, two, one, and go. So, twisting one side to the other. Twenty seconds left. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Moving on to the next one. Keeping the band. In front, like so, we're going to be coming out to the side. If you need a little bit of assistance with this one as well, if one side's more effective than by all means, please get out 
person to help. If not, the other way you can do this is keeping the band underneath your knees. All we're going to be doing is we're just going to bring one arm out to the side and then the other out to the side. So like the trunk twist, we're keeping our upper body and our chest and our trunk completely stable whilst we're moving out to the side to the side. Okay? We're going to start this in three, two, one, and go. Twenty seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. Excellent. Moving on to the next one, we're going to be doing rows. So for this one, we're going to do this repeat as well. So standing on the band, we're going to. Lean back in our chair and we're pulling the band up towards our arms. Okay, we're going to be doing this in five, four, three, two, one, and go. So lean back and pull it, the bands back and then lean forward. Back again, pulling the bands back. That pulls in similar to the deadlift. However, we're pulling our arms up when it's on a with the deadlift when we kept our arms still. Good, keep going. That's it. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and stop that. That's it. Right. Moving on to the last circuit, if you need a break, please have one now. But please press pause and join us back at the moment as I'm going to be going through these ones now. We're going to be doing the deadlift. So this is the one completely opposite to the rows, but we're keeping elbows fixed and keeping arms stationary and we're just leaning back with our back, we're not pulling with our arms towards our chest. Okay, we'll start in three, two, one, and go. That's it, keep going. Good, 30 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop that. Moving on to the next one, we're going to be doing a side stepping and standing again. So for this, we're wrapping the band just below the knee. Coming up and standing, we're just going to side step. From one side to the other. So we're just side stepping one way, back, and then the other way. We're going to start in three, two, one, and go. Side stepping one side to the other. So keep going. Good. Ten seconds back. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop there. The next one, we're going to be doing the shoulder abductions. This one, 
first, bringing the band overhead down towards the chest, and keeping our elbows fixed coming out to the side like so. We'll start in three, two, one, and go. Good. Again, tangle on things. Five. Four, three, two, one, and stop there. Excellent. Right, finishing off with the last one, we're going to have that band tied around our knees, bring it up just slightly above the knee, and we're just going to do high knees in standing. Last one, so give it everything you've got, we'll start in three, two, one, and go. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Excellent. So, well then, so we're just going to finish off with a couple of small stretches to finish off the session with. So, first one we're going to be doing is legs out nice and straight. We're going to be reaching down towards our toes and we're going to hold it for 10 seconds. After that, we're then going to bring knees to the chest, holding it for 10 seconds on both sides. So we'll bring it over to the other side. Good. After that, we're going to bring our arms overhead, stretching out our back. We're going to bring our arms down, coming down, flexing our body towards our floor. Up. Down. Up once more. Good. We're then going to finish off with just a trunk twist, one side to the other. We're just going to do that a few times. And then give ourselves a shake after that. So well done today everyone, I hope you've enjoyed today's session. Um, next week we're going to be looking at using weights rather than bands and building up our muscular strength um, with a similar sort of exercise programme, working on different aspects of the body of course and with different exercises. But I hope you guys have a lovely week, I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care everyone, bye.